Some UT students moving into off campus housing are dealing with an unexpected issue. They say management at the new West Campus apartment complex waited until the night before moving day to let them know the building wasn't ready. KVU's Malia Masamoto spoke to students who say they are scrambling to find somewhere to stay in the meantime. The first day of classes for UT is right around the corner, and for sophomore Jordan Mascao, moving into her first ever college apartment is something she's been looking forward to. I've been ordering stuff since probably I decided I was going to live in the Rambler. The new off-campus apartment, the Rambler, has been under construction for over a year now and was supposed to be ready for students to move in Friday. But at 11 p.m. Thursday night, they sent out an email to residents saying they were not ready for students to move in yet. I ran down to my mom. I'm like, what do we do? My mom's slipping out because we have all our bags in front of our front door, like we're ready to go. In another email, they said the building is pending a final fire inspection and residents would not be able to move in until August 26th. Mascao lives in Round Rock, so she'll have to commute for her first week of school. I don't feel like I can like, get settled. I feel like I'm gonna have to, like, I feel like I'm in elementary school again, having to like go back home after class. But other students coming from out of town, like sophomore Hallie Shank from Dallas, were not as fortunate. I'm actually still at home because you know, I don't have a place to go. Her parents had taken off work and scheduled hotels for the weekend when she was supposed to move in on Friday. But with no clear indication of when she will be able to move back, her first week of classes will be looking a little different this year. I'm just trying to navigate, like, what I'm going to do even between classes. And even, I mean, my sleeping arrangements are kind of a day-to-day -day issue right now. The Rambler said they'd be giving residents $200 per day until they're able to move in, but with packed hotels and expensive rates, it's putting out-of-town families at a major disadvantage. Had they had more notice, they potentially could have come later. It's an additional expense that people are not prepared to pay for for long periods of time. Shank is grateful she has friends to help her this week, but she feels for all the students without the support. If I was a freshman living at Rambler, this would be a lot, like just starting off not knowing anyone, probably having to get a hotel, being alone, you know, like walking around campus at night alone, like just, that would have been really hard as a freshman. In Austin, I'm Malia Masamoto. Back when these students signed their leases, a move-in guarantee from the apartment complex put these kind of worries at ease. This weekend, they found that when they tried to search for that webpage, it was removed. We're still waiting to hear back from that apartment complex.